Gemini, hello. Welcome to your October read for this current year. Which is 2019. How are y'all doing tonight, my lovelies? Wonderful, I hope so. Newcomers and return queerants and weirdos alike. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game. It might surprise you. It might not. Just boop your nose and away you goes. Um, if you want a personal, all the info is down below. Newcomers, first reading is free on the house, and I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Now, Gemini, your first card. What the fuck are you snooping on, man? What, what are you looking for? What you looking at? What you doing? Ooh, who are you spying on, man? Someone who isn't communicating with you? Possibly an Aquarius in this situation, like a communication reaching out. They might be being a butthead, I'll say. Your wants and wishes. Uh, there's a lack of closure you're dealing with. Either you or the person you're dealing with. Cross watchers, switch where you need to. Rotate that frown upside down. Ooh, two tens, y'all. The obstacle and challenge against you is the Ten of Cups. So you're not happy, you want to end things, but the problem is that everybody else will be unhappy. So you're trying to find ways of doing it. Mm. Or remember this person you're dealing with is. One of the two. Um, fears and rejections is the Prince of Wands, where... Either someone's afraid of, or they are just deciding not to take any action in this situation. How this shit starts, how it'll end. Full circle, five of cups. Someone's got regrets. But they still got two cups that are upright, so... Things will still work out in the end. We just need to see how it'll go. Five of pentacles, Gemini. Someone's feeling left out in the cold with another bum. One bum's asking the other one for some assistance of some sorts, while the second bum is over here, crying. Terrible tears. Terrible, terrible tears. Someone's left out in the cold. Someone does not feel cool. Like, they want answers before they can let a motherfucker go, you know? Or they want to know something because there's something they can't let go of. They're insecure about some shit and they aren't letting it die. Alright, Gemini, this could be you. An Aquarius, such as below, or a Libra. Someone's on the lookout for some information. They got glasses on their face. They're paying extra attention to the details. Um, they might have victory with someone driving them away. Five of Swords. Hmm. Because they feel like they weren't getting what was due to them. Like, they put in all this hard work, and they see they only got paid like $3 and something instead of 8 something an hour. Which is like, it's still a bullshit wage, but even then, it's like terrible. Uh, the Star Reverse. Aquarius's card. Lack of communication or reaching out. It's like the swords just lifted up in the air and you were able to heal yourself a little bit better. It became easier, it was uplifted from you. By how you two separate and how you can see eye to eye. It's like the um It's like the lack of talking or speaking to one another. It's like the sword just lifted up to whatever higher thing you believe in, or whatever, right? Some people would say you're giving it to God, whatever that would mean. In order to heal yourself about a situation where you where you and another person just couldn't meet eye to eye, you are the person you're dealing with, um, Gemini. Take your pick, really. What's your one? Ten of Pentacles. There is a lack of closure, like business was not successful. Transaction cannot be completed. Card declined. Something possibly do with the comforts of family or friends or some shit. Ah, uh, it turns out that that might have been a bug. 
or someone might have got a bug, or somebody did a bait and switch on you, maybe. Mmm. Sorry, my leg's feeling extra, like, irritant today. Oh, Lord. Well. Look who decided. God damn it. Ah. Uh. You know, sometimes, Gemini, you are the bravest motherfuckers of the Zodiac. Because not a lot of motherfuckers would ever think communication means shit. But you do. And I at least appreciate that for you. Because I just had a fucking Gemini just decide to come the fuck up and it's just like, oh! I literally had an argument, but okay, whatever. Ah, that make I hate that shit. I hate having an argument ready and then just somebody autom automatically agree with what the fuck I want to say. Like, damn it. Okay, well, whatever. I'll fix it later. Motherfucker's lucky. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's like a closure. Honestly, if you got it... It would have been like a bug. It would have infested you and like someone would have been sapping from your fucking river. Or would have just given you some bullshit excuses and such, right? Hmm. The obstacle and challenge. Ten of cups reverse. Oop. We got a book, y'all. It's been a while for you. Um, some of us ladies' burdens down. They are trying to learn their gentle nature. Like, you know, before cutting something down, think about what you're cutting. You know. Um, someone might be, it might be time to let go of some of the shit that's bothering you. And despite the fact that the trek is snowy and engaging, you're like, fuck this. I'm not going to be like everybody else. I'm going to move. These motherfuckers just want to take from my pile. I need to get somewhere with my shit, you know? You're not satisfied with this. It makes you feel like you got to fight to the death. And the ta that, like, you'll put, you'll, you'll beat some ass, Gemini. Like, I have seen many a Gemini just step up to people for shit that, honestly, I was confused with what they were mad about to begin with. But, you know, that like, y'all will step up. Like, you're terrified. <laughs> But I don't know if you do that as a crazy factor to scare people into thinking you'll do that, or if you'll actually do it, because some of y'all can be really fucking violent when you want to be. <coughs> yeah, you, you're trying to meditate. <coughs> you're with your spirit animals. You got a, a, a snake that talks to you to let you know which way might be the best way to go, bestows wisdom, might even be your higher self. All that shit, right? You're really going inside to check it. Or at least you're trying to. Like, what will bring you true peace? Fears and rejections is... Prince of Wands. Action doing something, you know? You don't want to do a damn thing because you think you're going to trip some shit up. You're afraid you're going to try to attempt to jump over a sphinx and you're just going to do like a bunch of tumblers and just fall around like a dog down the hill, which might be really cute, but it's a dude in the suit, so it's probably going to hurt a lot. You're afraid of fucking up your own tricks, you know, and you, and you kind of want to pour out that emotion. You kind of don't even want to like waste your time because you're really like I, I i really think that like you're scared that you're gonna trip it up but at the same time gemini like you're just gonna dump your cup and i think you're gonna do it regardless like it requires you to let go of your feelings or not worry about how you feel right five of cups 
You get three on this one. Some spilt milk, right? Three cups got knocked over. But there is another two, so one can move forward, right? Um, someone might have been a little bit greedy, and that might be what broke up the relationship. And caused somebody to uh, try to dump their emotions, but in a way they couldn't. Mm. Kind of like you saw somebody as like a jerk for... Like they, like they didn't care. And you feel like they didn't offer you something and you wanted to just dump that cup out, but like it never got emptied. You know? Let's see. Five of Pentacles. I can see why the Rixon told me not to do anything now. Just saying. Someone's tired of feeling left out in the cold. They want to be like, look, this is my lizard. And I protect him. He is mine. You know, like, showing your strength by being gentle to creatures that can't defend themselves. Like, showing true compassion and energy and power. As I like to say... But not really offering... Wait, hold up. That was supposed to be the ending theme, my bad. But I'll lay these both here anyway. Fuck it. Um, but there's still not an offering to you of something. Or you feel like somebody's not offering something to you. And that's why you feel left out in the cold. Like you're trying to master yourself, but... It feels like... Even though you're trying to master yourself... Something's still not making way. Mm. Alright, Gemini's. What up? You want a break? Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that happiness. You want a break? You want to be happy? That involves killing a tower, dude. That involves letting something fall, or letting some illusion fall, or like, I don't know, like, is there something that's actually, is there something that's bothering you that, uh, has been on your mind for a while? Hello, spider, what the fuck are you doing in my house, man? Oh, that's so creepy. It's just crawling in my, uh, thingy. Ah! Oh, I'm terrified. Okay, so we're ending the reading now because I have to kill this thing before it murders me. That's just how that's gonna go. I'll see you guys later. If you enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe. You want a personal? It's all down in the description below. Love your faces. Bye.